The Oscars are not the only movie award show this weekend in the city. We have some high-flying filmmakers being celebrated. It's the New York City Drone Film Festival. Randy Scott Slavin is the uh, producer, uh, the founder of the festival. Uh, Randy, this, uh, this is an event where, where art really meets technology. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people kind of have feelings about drones. Oh my God, they're spying on me, they're scary, all these kind of things. But, you know, when you see the art that they create, it's really kind of a bridge between that kind of fear and the understanding of what these things can do. And they're amazing robots that en enable us to take shots we were never able to take before. You brought the drone that you fly, it's, it's sitting on the table here. This is, this is the kind of drone that's capable of the, the, the aerial photography that we see in these films. Yeah, this is something that you would use for TV, commercials, you know, music videos, anything, anything you'd really want. Great image. So, so let's look at, I mean, first we got some, some pictures of Manhattan and, and, and this, you know, the, the kind of uh, a video that, that these drones are able to deliver. The, 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 these are, are remarkable pictures, although you say that, that with the restrictions in place on drone flying, it's not easy to do this kind of thing. Well, it's not easy, nor is it legal. I actually took these images when I first got into drones. This was like five years ago, and I was building my own little drones, and you know, I was like, all right, I live in Manhattan. I'm like gonna fly around and like get some good shots, and I didn't really know about any of the regulations. These days, there's no excuse because everybody can kind of understand what the regulations are quite easily. Uh, but you know, I mean, the images are nice. So I guess for, for for that reason, a lot of the images in the New York Drone Film Festival come from elsewhere. Yes, oh, all of them do. I mean, nobody really shoots with drones in in New York City, but uh, you know, I mean, there's tons of films from around the world, and you know, there's plenty of space everywhere there's, else. There's, we've got some footage from one about Namibia. Yeah. The the uh, the wildlife film. This is nominated in what you call the X Factor category. What's that? What's that category mean? You know, this is kind of category that's like catch all if it doesn't fit into anything else. We don't have a wildlife category, we don't have a Namibia category, so this is, <laughs> fits in this in this other category. Um, but yeah, this is a filmmaker named Michael Bishop. He's actually submitted to our festival before. Just great eye, superb camera motion, beautiful exposures. You know, aerial cinematography is very difficult because it requires a lot of different types of skills. You know, it, it's not just about flying the drone, it's about understanding landscape cinematography, it's about understanding camera movement. Uh, so. You know, all, when a drone film actually gets together and can be beautiful and also be a good film and all those other things, it's a really beautiful thing to see. I have to come back to a not great moment in New York One history. <laughs> was it was it for the Drone Film Festival that Roger Clark was interviewing you? Yeah. Roger Clark crashed one of Randy's drones. This was last year? Yeah, it was awesome. I, look, I, was, I've been a drone, a, was the drone okay? Did, did, it's was totally it, fine. That, I knew, so I mean, like, I'm a lifelong New Yorker, so... I knew that when they were sending Roger to, to come, that it was going to be like a, a like a clowny type segment. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to give him a drone that he can crash. And he did. The only funny part about this is that he didn't wait to crash it when the cameras were on. We didn't, we weren't oh, live we didn't at that see point. the crash. Yeah, it just so happens the camera person was awesome. It was rolling. But he flew it off. I live in Tudor City. He flew it off the side and down onto oh. like 40th Street. <laughs> and, and we weren't even live on TV at that point. So that was really amazing. Uh, tell us how people can can still see some of these films and join in the festival this weekend? Yeah, so on, on uh, Saturday night, we're at the Tribeca Performing Arts Center. Uh, I highly encourage anybody to come. It's going to be amazing, super entertaining. I guess a great place to, to be during kind of bad, rainy weather. Yeah. But, um, and yeah, I mean, you know, go to B&H, pick up a drone, come to our festival and learn how to use it. That's what I say. Good.